All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run Martin, the obstacle course. Martin, good to course. see you. Go, go, go! They got your sorry butt here too, huh? Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest Eyes of you up, ladies, Private. stay right here. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving, and in the crouching or prone positions. Skill is good in your life. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at the then aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming at your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now, private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice, you can buy the farm. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post. Move out to the left then the right. 
This will help protect you from the enemy. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole! Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you. Baker Company.
Guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go.
All right, fellas, take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Right, Captain. Taking a break. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain.
Good work.
car. Over here, get in the car. Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relief soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea, or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh man, this is nuts! I can't believe we're doing this! Believe it! Unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.
Mark the cover. Damn it, Elder, hurry up! I'm working, Sarge. I'm working on it. Quit working and get done. Our father was. God, this is on. In the car! Martin, cover us! Martin, over here! Get in the car! Step on it! Get us out of here! Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go. Hey! 
Keine Ladehemmungen! Martin, grab those enemy documents! Quick! Hurry up! Get out of here!
move in and secure move these in. buildings. Move. Now, let's go! Go, go, go! First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Maraglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Brecor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Mark, you take point nine. <laughs> Cover me! 
Get down! Grenade! Good work, Martin. Everyone breathe deep, catch your breath. Now let's do it all over again. Suppressing fire! Get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Oh, Moody and I'll find Price and ah!
Thema Deckung! Now, Bryce and Ingram see. are behind these doors. Well, goodness me, Americans. Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry. I overheard where. Truck's up front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Move! Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Okay, Martin, we're about ready to ram the gate. Less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. Take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck.
Look, come to collect me, have you? Gentlemen, thus far you've been training hard at Exeter for a special purpose. This special purpose, obviously, has something to do with the capturing of bridges. What I'm about to explain is top secret material. If any of you blokes mention the word bridge outside of this room and I hear of it, and I will, it'll be RTU'd on the spot. The invasion of Europe will take place across five main beaches along the Normandy coast of France. Elements of the British Second Army will strike at gold and sword beaches, along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division at Juneau. To the west, the Yanks will take Utah and Omaha Beach. Now, the entire eastern flank of the invasion will be exposed to a German counterattack from the Calais region. Should the Germans break through, they could very well have tanks rolling through Sword Beach and all the way down to Utah, wiping out the entire beachhead. Our task, along with the rest of the 6th Airborne Division, is to secure that flank at all costs by capturing and holding key bridges along the axis of approach. D Company's objective is this bridge over the Khan Canal. Under cover of darkness, the gliders will put us down in the field next to the bridge. From there, we rush the pillbox and prevent the Germans from blowing the bridge. At least one Bren gun will provide a base of fire while we flank it from both sides. Once we've captured the bridge, we hold it until relieved, which could take several hours. During that time, we may find ourselves using the Germans' own weapons against them. So I suggest you familiarize yourselves with the captured ones we have on base. Good luck, and Godspeed. Dismissed! Perhaps 
previously moved it. By my calculations, we're on course. We'll want to bank north in two degrees. A five, four, three, two, one, and bingo. Two degrees start on to course. All right, everyone, brace for landing. Landing, eh? Is everyone all right? Mills! Yeah, I'm fine, just great. But no, let's go, let's go! Move, move, move! Come on! Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar landing. Find a good spot to suppress their bunker. We'll advance behind your base of fire. Go back across! Get to their flag gun and turn it on that tank! My private mill is in the place! Get them to free up the bloody thing!
No problem. I'll get it working. Follow me. Captain, we salvaged the area. Apart from some medical supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several Panzerfausts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flak gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up.
Excellent work, lads. Bloody well done. All right, settle down. We've got new orders straight from SOE, as well as two new transfers from the 6th Airborne to help us carry them out. They were highly recommended for this operation as a result of their actions on D-Day. Captain Price, Sergeant Evans, welcome to 3 Troop. Now, let's get down to business. These are the locations of the major hydroelectric dams in the Ruhr industrial region of Germany. Their main purpose is to provide electrical power to the factories and cities throughout the area. Last year, a clever fellow by the name of Dr. Barnes Wallace created an odd sort of bomb that was specially designed to breach these dams. Using these bombs, the dam busters from 617 Squadron successfully breached the Mona and Eda dams, causing extensive flooding and damage to the industrial heart of Germany. The bad news is the bastards have already repaired the damage done, and Bomber Command wants to have another crack at these targets. This is the Eda Dam. We're to make a night drop on this one. From the DZ, it's a day's tab through unpopulated areas around the dam's reservoir. Dropping in any closer is impossible, as the enemy flak is simply too concentrated around the dam itself. Our mission is to locate as many of these anti-air guns as possible, wipe them out so that the bombers can make their runs. This building at the foot of the dam houses the electrical generators. Our orders are to blow this structure in the event that the bombers fail to breach the dam. We set the explosives on a short timer, then get the hell out of there by truck to a nearby airfield and appropriate suitable air transport from the enemy. You all know what to do. Check and test your magazines, zero your sights, and review the maps and photographs carefully. We'll receive signals and embarkation details within the next two hours. Good luck.
werden angegriffen. Alle Mann in Kampfbereitschaft. Er schließt jeden Eindringling. An alle Truppen unten am Dach. Die Briten sind auf dem Weg zu euch. Schützt das Kraftwerk in eurem Leben.
Evans, good man, in the truck, hop on! 